For this project, we are going to show you how to build a funicular railway, which will use the power of gravity to move trains up and down an incline. Funicular railways have been used to transport people and cargo up steep slopes for close to 500 years. In that time, the design has changed very little, as the funicular is still one of the most energy efficient ways to travel up steep hillsides. Conventional trains, which use steel wheels on a steel track, could never efficiently climb slopes as steep as a funicular railway. This is because the wheels would struggle to get traction. When this type of train arrives at a hill or mountain, it will often need to take a winding path, go around the mountain, or even tunnel through. Funicular railways solve this problem by pulling the trains up the slope with a cable. This means the steel wheels don't need to have traction, they are simply there to guide the train along the tracks. The funicular railway design is made even more efficient by counterbalancing two train cars on the same track. The power of gravity means the weight of one train can help pull up the other. For this challenge, you will need the following items, and a full list is available on our website. Let's get started. First, we construct the track. Use a sheet of corrugated cardboard for the base and begin by drawing four parallel lines along its length. To make the rails, cut four strips of cardboard and carefully glue them along the lines we've just drawn. Next, we will begin to build the pulley system by gluing a rectangle of card across the end of one of the tracks. Pierce a hole in the rectangle and push two pieces of kebab stick through the hole to form a shaft for the cotton reel to spin on. We will thread the cotton reel onto the sticks and glue a small square of card over the ends so that there are no sharp points sticking out. Now repeat this step three more times for the other track ends. To make the wheels for the train, use a compass to draw eight circles. Then draw smaller circles inside the larger ones. Cut around the outer circles and pierce a hole in the centre of each disc. Axles will allow the train wheels to rotate freely. To construct an axle, we will first trim a piece of kebab stick to the width of the track plus the depth of two plastic bottle tops. Then, thread a piece of straw onto the stick and push a card disc and the plastic bottle top onto either end. We can check the length of the axle by positioning the card discs inside the track. The wheels should rotate freely all the way along the length. After we have made any necessary adjustments, glue the bottle tops onto the card discs. Use the smaller circles as a guide to ensure they are attached in the centre. Now repeat this step three more times to create four sets of wheels. It's time to put the train cars together. First, cut out the card rectangles from the bases, then glue two axles to each base. Next, we will connect the pulley system. Begin by gluing one end of the nylon string to a train, then wrapping it around the pulleys at each end of the track. We need to pull the string tightly so there is no slack, and then glue the other end of the same train base to create a continuous loop. So that the trains counterbalance one another, push them to the opposite ends of the track. Then glue the nylon string onto the base of the other train. Finally, complete the train cars so the funicular railway can carry cargo. We will cut out three sections of cardboard, one with a small hole in the side to allow the nylon string through. Then, glue the pieces onto the base so that the load is taken evenly on both axles. Repeat this step for the other train. Now the trains can be loaded with cargo and we can see how the force of gravity pulling the heavier train to the ground lifts the other train up to the top of the track. You can find out more about the science behind funicular railways, step-by-step -step instructions, and a quiz to test your knowledge in our accompanying worksheet. And for more hands-on projects to try at home, visit imeke.org forward slash stem at home.